So welcome back to the Jazz Mental channel here on YouTube. My name is Paul Toby. Thanks for joining me for another one of my tutorials. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nature Boy for Jazz Piano. And it's an arrangement that I did for solo piano. And the interesting thing about it is this. Many people, when they approach jazz piano solo, in other words, they're just playing on the piano, they tend to do only block chords. It's like the right hand is playing melody, the left hand is playing block chords. But in this video, we're going to explore a concept where there's interplay between the hands, like contrary motion or like counterpoint. And sometimes the right hand plays, then sometimes the left hand. So the right hand would play the first eighth note, left hand plays the next eighth note, right hand plays the next eighth note, things like that. And that's the way that I've approached this arrangement. Now, why do you want to learn this? Well, the answer is because you're looking for a unique sound. You're looking for something different. That's really what music is all about. People recognize difference. And if you can stand out a little bit with your playing, they're really going to enjoy it when you do your recording or when you play for an audience. So there's a few things to look forward in this video. The first thing is I'm going to go through the entire arrangement of sheet music that I made. It's definitely both hands. I wrote out every chord and I even put some chord symbols there so that you can improvise later but at least all of the chords and all of the melody are intact for the head section. So we're going to go through that in detail. I'm going to explain what I'm doing and all the intricacies of the interplay of hands. Then when we get done that, I'm going to come back to the grand piano and play the arrangement that I made and then a chorus of soloing just to kind of give you a sense of what it would sound like if you approached it from a solo piano perspective. And then after that, I'm going to post a link to the sheet music that you can go and download and start practicing today. Let's get started. The thing I find most interesting about this arrangement of Nature Boy that I've put together is the interplay of the hands. I find that a lot of solo piano players tend to just play block chords and play all the notes together, but when you play notes alternately between the right hand and the left hand, it gives it a lot more feel and a lot more depth. So let me walk you through the arrangement and then when I get done, I'll play a little bit of it on the grand piano and then I'll post a link to the sheet music that you can go and download. So the first bar is this nice, really big chord. Now you may want to roll that or play it all as a block chord. So now starts the interplay of the hand. So the right hand goes down like this. And then the left hand goes like this, like an answer. And then the right hand plays off the beat. So the left hand in the second bar plays like this. And then the right hand is an eighth note after that. And then we go to 16th notes like this. And now we've got this pedal note going here in the left hand. I'm referring, of course, to this section right here. Where we've got this D pedal happening. So, like I said, you can start to really see that the left hand plays and the right hand, and it's all based on this eighth note swing feel that runs pretty slowly. Let me play this section again. Left hand, then right hand. And again, there's interplay here where you've got the bass note on the offbeat and then this chord on the offbeat as well. Let's go to the second eight bars and then we've got 
the E half diminished seventh chord. That's an interesting one in the left hand where it's playing the root, the flat five, and then the third. So, and interesting. And then the right hand goes up to this note here. Kind of have this chord right at the very first bar. But it's playing and anticipating the melody note right there. And then the chord happens. So this chord here is actually a G7 chord. It doesn't always happen when a lot of people play this tune, but I find it, it, it goes well there. So so the left hand goes like this, then the right hand comes in after on the beat. With that grace note, the B flat. And then the next line goes like this. So you don't need to play a lot of big chords here. This is a very thin chord. So really that's all left hand there, where the left hand is going from the D natural. And then we have six diminished scale here. Diminished chord, diminished chord, and D minor chord. Actually F6 according to Chordy, but it's really D minor, so. and it's back to the top. So let's play those second two lines again. I find that that interplay is just really, really nice, especially the left hand playing the dotted quarter note, then the eighth note, and then sometimes the 16th note thrown in there to give it a little bit more feel. Let's go to the last section because it just repeats the A section. So before we play the last eight bars, you should know there's a first time ending and a second time ending. In this case, we're just gonna play the second time ending because we've already played the first time ending. So let's do the second one. And I rolled that last chord. You can play it solid if you want to, but I basically just uh, rolled it. Let me notate that properly. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is go to the piano, play it on the piano, take a little bit of liberties with the actual written notes to give you a sense of how uh, this arrangement came about. I don't always play exactly what's written, but I'll, I'll do my best to do that. And then I'm just gonna skip into some soloing for a little bit, just to give you an idea of if you want to improvise over it, what that would sound like.
All right, thanks for listening to that solo piano version of Nature Boy. I hope you liked the tune. I enjoyed it for many years. I've just remade the entire arrangement in D minor in this case. I used to play it in C minor and a couple of other keys, but I think D minor kind of sits well and I, I really like it there. So I hope you enjoy it as well. All right, so we're at the point in the video where I'm gonna post a link to the sheet music. It's right up here in the corner. Go check that out, download it, start practicing today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps us here on the channel. And if you'd like to subscribe, just hit the little bell when you do and we'll notify you of all the upcoming tutorials that we're making. Okay, if you like how my two-hand interplay went in this video, check out this next video where the two-hand interplay evolves a little bit and you get a few more ideas on how to put two hands together. I think you'll really enjoy that video. I'm gonna post a link to it right now and I'll see you in that video.